Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking, uh, making another video, just like I did with the last one. This is again on the BCA or Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15. It has changed form a little bit. Um, the reason I'm making the, a video on the same gun two in a row is because like I said in the previous video, I did want it to change form and uh, suppress it. So that is one difference you'll be able to see is it's now got my AAC um, uh, 51T or 51 tooth ratchet system muzzle brake, or this is actually a flash hider, not a muzzle brake. But that way it could take my AAC SDN6 suppressor really nicely. But we're gonna go ahead and shoot it without it initially. Uh, what else though? Same uh, Magpul uh, grip, just black now. Uh, none of the uh, camouflage stuff. Uh, Magpul stock in black, and that is it. Other than that, it's got a little uh, uh, True Glow riser here to accommodate for this Nikon P Tactical. Uh, so thanks uh, Nikon for actually sending this out to me. I, they wanted me to test it out because I was actually kind of unfamiliar with their 2MOA uh, red dot sight. But this is actually not bad at all. I've only shot it once the last time I was out here off camera. $149 on Optics Plan. It gets you a really, really great uh, red dot sight um, and all adjustable, kind of like the higher end ones. You just take off the caps here. That little tool is integrated. You can flip it down and adjust your, uh, your sights. And... Um, it's actually a really, really crystal clear red dot sight. So I'm actually blown away with that. Uh, I'll try to insert some B-roll here and there. But yeah, brightness adjustments, all that stuff, it's a very simple to use red dot sight. But for $149, it's not bad. Really nice and low profile as well, even with that larger riser. The interesting thing with the BCA or the Bear Creek Arsenal line of guns is they're very, very unbelievably cost effective. If you're just looking at the upper and lower, this is going to include the 416R steel barrel, 16-inch uh, with a 15-inch free float keymard handguard. Um, that's the upper with the whole bolt carry group and charging handle, everything. This right here goes for just over $200, between $210, $230 or so dollars for that. And then the lower is just your basic mil spec lower. And it came with a mil spec stock that I switched out later. And that was about $199. So all said and done, you're well under $500. Of course, once you add your optic and your grip and some actual stuff, it's still a very cost-effective uh, setup. Not bad at all. So that's one thing to consider is an AR setup for less than $500. That's kind of the, the thesis of what we went off with the last video. But I enjoyed shooting it so much, so we're just going to come out and shoot some more. Don't mind if you guys can hear that. We have some neighbors shooting with us today, but we'll try to make some more noise than them initially, and then we're going to go ahead and quiet it down. So we'll just shoot it with some different forms. I'm going to go ahead and get eyes and ears on, and we'll just have fun shooting some clay pigeons and all that fun stuff. All right, so we're backed out not too far from here, um, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot some clay pigeons on the right side. One thing to consider with the AAC flash hider, just like the Bushmaster ACR or any gun with this flash hider, it gives like a little ringing sound. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear that until I shoot, uh, but it does like give like a higher pitch ring uh, after the gun goes off. And then when you suppress it, you might still get that too, but it's actually kind of a cool sound. Some people don't like it, but you guys should be able to hear it. At a high pitch at the very end. It sounds kind of cool in my opinion, kind of reminiscent of the Bushmaster ACR, but yeah, pretty fun setup. One thing I just love about this is this is a standard length barrel, 16 inch barrel, but it kind of looks smaller in a way because the um, muzzle brake goes out to here. So it's not an SBR or anything like that, like short, short barrel rifle or AR pistol. It's just your standard length AR, but with the mid length gas uh, system, like I mentioned in the last video, which kind of just helps in smooth operation of an AR. Um, but yeah. Really, really happy with the setup because it's really lightweight. I know most of my guns are kind of more long range purposed uh, or the ones that are not like the ACR have more weight to it just because of the system itself and also just more optics and magnifiers. But this is such a streamlined, easy setup, uh, almost no thrills, but it looks really, really good. So that's the fun thing about that. I say we go ahead and add some weight though and uh, lessen the sound, throw the suppressor on there and that turns into its own kind of really cool, almost integrated looking suppressor. Obviously there's a little gap there, but um, it is a cool look, kind of all black except the steel barrel. I really do like that. And I thought it would be a little bit more front heavy, but this Magpul grip right here balances out pretty darn nicely. And it just looks really, really good. This would be like a really cool hog setup uh, for nighttime hog hunting, just because of the simplicity, the form factor, just really nice and streamlined. And of course, not the quietest thing in the world, but if I wanted to, I could run it without hearing protection people at the range here might get a little mad the range officers uh, do as they do but um so we'll keep hearing protection on but it's actually not bad uh full speed 556 five, round with the suppressor it's a pretty smooth operating set, uh, setup last time i shot it but let's go ahead and see what else we could do here
the recoil and everything just feels so nice and thumpy with this. I hope it sounds different anyway uh, with the mic. Uh, once the decibel just hits a certain thing, the mic's gonna cut it off, but it is certainly a cool sounding thing. Maybe I'll get some distance between me and the camera, and that might kind of show you a little bit better of what this thing might sound like. Yeah, 30 rounds, locks back. Like I said in the last video too, is when a gun suppressed, there's a lot more forces acting upon it. So if this problem is gonna have any kind of malfunction, I would expect it to be now while suppressed. This thing hasn't had a single hiccup yet. And for the price, I'm uh, pretty surprised. Like I said, I mean, I am appreciative of BCA for sending this out to me, but I am going to review it honestly and just keep running it until something happens. But right now it's running really, really uh, reliably. And it's a really fun shooter. I just really like the streamline look of it. Um, just really, really fun to plink around with. But we'll go ahead and I say keep it suppressed because it's pretty fun that way and uh, keep on running it. All right, set up a couple more clay pigeons. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see them from there, but we are backed out to about 40 yards shooting offhand uh, with no magnification, but the sight is pretty crisp. So if I hold still, it should be okay. Pretty darn controllable. Love this thing. I'm just kind of a, a nut for magnification, anything long range or whatever else, magnifier, four times, whatever. So using just no magnification is nice now when you get used to it and you get some time behind it because it just helps keep everything really streamlined, like I keep saying. But just a really, really nice overall package of a rifle. Really, really nice and balanced too. You can kind of see with the suppressor, I'm grabbing it in the midpoint there. Really, really, really nice and balanced. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. All right, I only loaded up about like 10 in here. Back to unsuppressed, and we're just gonna go ahead and rapid fire. Again, this is a mil spec lower with the mil spec trigger, so kind of clunky, but nonetheless, we'll see how fast I can shoot these off here. Raining dirt. Nice and smooth, man. I like it. All right, guys, so I know that was in a terribly long video, but kind of wanted to come out here, just do some plinking and just kind of show you guys the same rifle you just saw in the last video, but in a different form, both suppressed, unsuppressed, and with some different optic changes and all that kind of stuff, but pretty quick video. Again, still happy with this. I'll keep you guys posted with anything that happens on social media as well. Feel free to check me out, Texas Plinking on Instagram as well. Uh, but yeah, just another video on the BCA. If you guys are interested, feel free to check them out. And also, again, thanks to Optics Planet and Nikon for the uh, Nikon P Tactical for $149.99. Pretty darn happy with it. You guys could even save 5% on top of that if you guys shop at Optics Planet and use the code Texas Plinking. Um, All together not case sensitive so use that code and save five percent off on your whole order on more than just the p tactical but as far as this goes i am pretty happy with it uh but yeah that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day hey guys before i let you go i just want to mention a quick promotion that olight is doing again uh this one is on the new seeker 2 pro this is a 3200 lumen uh, handheld light it's a really sweet light this is my go-to now uh, really, really cool USB charge, magnetic charge right there. So really, really nice and convenient. Nice little like truck light just to have in a car or truck or whatever. But it's really, really cool. Really familiar if you're uh, if you have other O light uh, handheld lights. But this one's got some more tech to it. Uh, so you press it once and it tells you like one single dot right here um, for the brightness and then how much charge it has right here. Uh, again, it's rechargeable, which is really, really nice. But it is on its dimmest mode, so not too bright. And then you press and hold. And then we're gonna to go to mode two. As you can see, it is illuminated two out of the four. And then press and hold to bring it to the third. And to bring it to the fourth, which is the 3200 uh, lumens, then you go ahead and double press. And that is the full power. And that is one bright, bright light all within that size right there. So really, really cool light. Uh, I am probably going to try to upload this video uh, May 2nd, but it might go up May 3rd. However, the promotion is live May 3rd. Uh, so tomorrow or today depends on when I upload this video uh, But yeah, you could save 40% on this light if you buy the bundle with the L bracket and some other stuff or 30% on the light alone Limited to two uh, lights per person. Anyway, thought I'd let you guys know about that But uh, with all that said hope you guys enjoy and catch you guys on the next one